And I tell you somebody that's happy, it's Greg Wyatt, the head coach for the Seagull Stars. He joins us on the Cook Neon Hotline. Uh, his team goes to Knoxville and, and uh, uh, pounces on Bearden, uh, doubles up Bearden. Uh, coach Wyatt, co- impressive win. Congratulations on the impressive win. Appreciate it, Disco. How you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. You got a little disco in your voice. You must be feeling good. That's it. I am, man. It's a good night for the Stars tonight. The Stars were out. Uh, you guys went at it, uh, uh, hammer and nail right there, and got a uh, uh, and got a big win on the road. Uh, it's been some tough circumstances for you, but I think uh, uh, some of the adversity uh, that you've had has kind of forged you. Uh, they, what, what they say that uh, gold is purified and steel is hardened by by uh, fire. Yeah, I mean we've been through a little bit of fire. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't say enough about our kids and. And uh, how tough and how mentally tough they are. I mean, to be able to do what we've done and, you know, come in here and get a playoff win and, uh, you know, against a very quality football team. Uh, I'll tell you this, there ain't anybody out there looking at Bearden's quarterback. They need to look at him. That kid can spin it. Um, they've got good football players. We, 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 we were very fortunate to play as well as we did and come away with a win. Uh, following a, a guy that I – that uh, a friend of mine that I – see once a year so i don't know if that's a really a friend but uh uh following his tweets tonight one thing that he remarked was is that you guys were really big and you were imposing your will upon bearden in the trenches uh what do you think about that comment and how accurate was that comment well he must have been talking about our offensive line against their defensive line because their offensive line outweighed our offensive line by 50 pounds so they're gigantic up front on offense they got a right guard that uh, his nickname's got to be Shade Tree. I mean, he's uh, he's got to be six four, six five, three hundred fifteen pounds. He's a big youngin. But yeah, I mean, I'm really proud about our front our, our front four on uh, our front five on offense. I think they uh, I think they did a great job controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, they're playing with a lot of confidence right now, and I'm really proud of the, the way they've taken on the challenge that's been put in front of them uh, that our coaching staff has put on them. And uh, they've done a great job. They've made great holes for Greedy. I think Greedy ran for a bunch tonight, and uh, uh, it all got it all. You know, he ran hard. And he ran behind his pads, and, but it all comes back to to them guys up front. Dennis Weaver, Josh Peterson, talking to Greg White, the victorious head coach for the Seagull Stars, joining us on the Cook Neon Hotline. Coach, if if you know, if we go back to you know, a few weeks ago, and, and you're sitting at zero and eight, and I, and I told you that you'd win three in a row, and you'd be two rounds deep into the playoffs. Would you take that at that point? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, sitting at 0-8 and, and through everything that we've been through, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd take that in a heartbeat. Um, you know, this this team is, you know, we've had a lot of rats jump off the ship when things got tough. And, uh, you know, uh, we've had these kids that have stayed through this. They got rewarded tonight. And, uh, you know, just uh, – uh, yeah, you know, if we was 0-8, I'd take this in a heartbeat. You know, I just can't say enough about the resiliency and how proud I am of our kids, man. And, uh, you know, every Monday coming back to work and getting better. And, and you know, we've, we've gotten a little bit better on defense. And, you know, we're playing with a little bit more confidence and those types of things. So, you know, I'm proud of these kids. I, uh, I have the theory that these extra weeks of practice are beneficial for a program. You, you, you go with that theory? Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, we've got like an extra week of spring practice that all those folks that didn't get to play this week did. So now we've got two extra weeks of spring practice. So the deeper you play, the more practice you get, um, the better it is for your young guys, and, and they get to see what the playoffs are all about. You know, we didn't we didn't get to do this last year, so uh, this isn't this isn't just good for our older guys that have been here, but it's it's great for our young guys to see what it really is like and, and the excitement that comes in playoff football. Well, you've practiced before on Thanksgiving. I hope this team uh, the, of yours gets that opportunity as well. I ain't no better feeling to be out there and nobody at school and get to go home and eat turkey. <laughs> you know, I used to work for a guy, that, and he said, uh, when you drive home after practice and you get to listen to Christmas music, you've had a pretty good successful season. <laughs> he also <laughs> said that carried the ball 50 times the game wasn't hard because the ball wasn't heavy, didn't he? That's right. The ball ain't heavy. <laughs> I know one thing, it got heavy on that guy throwing it tonight. Man, that kid from beer, and I bet he threw it 50 times tonight. It had to get heavy. (laughs) Uh, That kid, he's a competitor, man. I can't say enough about them. 
Uh, I tell you what, uh, before we get you, before we get you out of here, do you have a, do you have you got an update on uh, Baylor for us? No, I do not. I know he turned seventeen today, and we got to sing him happy, bir- happy birthday in front of the scoreboard. Oh, um, wow! You know, the only thing I know is 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 what's on the uh, uh, what's on the website uh, on the Facebook page for Baylor. Uh, you know, you can search that if you're trying to find out information. Oh, I know this. We need prayers. We need to continue to pray for America for this young man. His family is as strong as any family I've ever been around. His dad is an unbelievable person. He's got he's got the strength of uh, I just I don't know. I mean, just talking to him, he's he's such a great man and such a huge believer. And you know, I'm just you know, I urge everybody, please, you know, you know. Get on your knees, bow your head tonight, and say a prayer for that young man. He deserves it. He's such a great young man. Greg, we appreciate it as always. Uh, have a uh, have a safe. Y'all coming home tonight? Yeah, sure. Right. Are. It's raining like it's raining like cats and dogs right now. All right. Well, be safe coming home, and I uh, hope to talk to you next week. Okay. Appreciate it, Wade. Thank right. you guys so much. All right. That is uh, that's one of my favorite human beings on the face of this earth uh greg wyatt uh, part well, of that he, part of that gary Rankin and yeah. coaching we, we tree. little he had a little uh you know unfortunately we haven't got to talk to him where he's been upbeat so much this year yeah. you know they, he's had a tough year yeah. you know, to deal with off the field issues not even not even on the field issues it's the off the field issues they've had to deal with and the way they've handled it's nothing short of exceptional and unfortunately we haven't got to see a lot of his personality shine through no. so it's good to hear him call you uh Disco tonight. Yeah, I, I heard got, that all year. Yeah, I don't got think. a disco reference and, and got a couple of chuckles and and uh, that that is good stuff.